Well, we had a vehicle blown up, right? And that was quite hilarious because the guys got blown out of the vehicle and one of them started running up the hill to where he thought the guy was. We didn't have his rifle or anything with him. Just started running towards what he thought, where the, the guy went, he thought. That was funny. So we settled them down. Then we towed the vehicle out of there and because they're Land Rovers and they're full of everything, uh, too heavy to lift. So we've got to drain all the oils out of the diffs, the sump, the fuel out, every, get everything out of it so Chuck can come in and pick it up and take it away. Yeah. And we had, we, when we got blown up that time, that we knew there was another AED in the road somewhere. So what we did was you dove a little bit further and then we let up a few slabs and they thought that we'd hit the second AED, but we hadn't. <laughs> but by then, with all the chatter, we picked up where they were and uh, Apache come in and fixed them up. It was good that we went up to the Hazars. They're the leftovers, I guess, of Genghis Khan. And they're not li liked by the Muslims that much, even though they're Muslims as well. But we'd have dinner with them at night, and they'd go, there's the Taliban here, and they go, yeah, they were here yesterday. Uh, they'd feed us, but only at night, but the Taliban, they feed all the time. Because their attitude is, as you come and you go, they're here all the time. You know, and they, they were good. They, they, were, they were quite evolved, I guess. They all had satellite dishes. They had electricity. It was power. The power poles were basically, uh, what is it, mulberry stems with wires up, up there and they run power to all the houses.